is Neharika and today we are going to talk about a very scary subject. Um, we're going to talk about the ghosts, the witches, um, candies, pumpkins and evil spirits. You got it right, we are going to talk about the Halloween which is also called as All Hallows Eve. It is celebrated on 31st of October in several countries. And that's what we're going to learn today, that what are the activities and the scary words, basically the scary adjectives and some evil characters related to this festival. So here we have for you is a ghost. Now ghost, the moment you hear about a ghost, it's really scary, isn't it? Like there are people who would pee in their pants if uh, they spot a ghost. Well, I haven't and honestly, I don't even believe in one. But yes, we do have something known as ghost, which is a spirit of a dead person. It's a spirit of a dead person which keeps on appearing all the time. Okay, so people do have lots of stories to tell about ghosts. Unfortunately, I don't have one. So, but yes, you may talk to your friends about some ghost stories. And trust me, they are scary. The other one that we have here is a ghoul. Uh, a ghoul is uh, someone, it's an evil spirit, which feeds on the bodies which are buried in graves. Alright, so a ghoul is an evil spirit which feeds on bodies which are buried in the graves. Graves are where when a person dies, people bury them in graves and the place is also called as a graveyard. Okay, the another one is a goblin. A goblin is a person, an evil spirit, which uh, plays tricks on people. Okay, so they are pretty scary because those tricks are not funny. Okay, they're not hilarious, but they are super scary. Right, so goblin is an evil spirit which plays tricks on people. Then we have a witch. Now, we have several stories about a witch. So what exactly? Who is a witch? And especially children. All little kids uh, have heard lots of stories about the witches, the cruel, the mean witches. But what are witches? Yes, of course, they do look scary. They have these long hair and vampire teeth and awfully long nails. And they're extremely dirty, okay? So yes, but a witch is a woman with evil magic powers. Woman with an evil magic powers. And a warlock is a man with evil magic powers okay so the witch is the woman okay the evil woman who plays uh, who has lots of powers the magical powers and plays tricks and especially on children so that's why the stories uh, basically that are uh, told by grandparents are scary because they're talking about witches and warlocks so warlocks is a man with magic powers evil magic powers a vampire a vampire is again I was telling you that vampire teeth usually witches and warlocks have these vampire teeth so a vampire is basically um, a person or again uh, an evil person an evil person who feeds on the blood okay blood of living creatures Okay, so they feed on blood of living creatures. A werewolf, a werewolf is a person who is transformed into a wolf, okay? Maybe like um, they're regular human beings, okay? But again, I have just heard stories about, I have not known a person who would be a werewolf. But yes, they are human beings. And uh, usually in the night hours, especially when uh, the moon comes out, they turn or transform into a wolf and a zombie a zombie is again a person who feeds on f 
flesh of living beings okay like how vampire feeds on the blood however zombies they of course we have lots of zombie movies also so they are the people who feed on the flesh of human beings right so these are some evil characters related to the festival halloween and now we would look at some activities that we perform for halloween so now let's have a look at what people do on October 31st. How do they enjoy the festival Halloween, which is uh, a day, a night before All Saints Day. Uh, the, first, what, the first thing that they really, really love to do is to carve a pumpkin. So a pumpkin is a big orange vegetable, okay, a big round orange vegetable. They buy it from the supermarkets and they get it home and all the children, basically the whole family together, they cut it out. They hollow it out okay um, with a knife of course and uh, they carve a scary face okay um, or like you have it over here which we've drawn it for you so that's how they carve a pumpkin I hope this looks scary to you so that's a scary face that they carve and then what they do is they put a candle okay they put a candle and once they hollow it out and carve the scary face they put a candle and it's basically placed outside their homes to keep away the evil spirits okay or to scare the evil spirits and that pumpkin once the candle is in is called as jack-o-lantern okay so the first thing they do is they carve a pumpkin they hollow it out carve a scary face put in a candle and that face of that pumpkin is called as jack-o-lantern right then another thing that children like to do is trick or treat what they do is they dress up in these fancy costumes like the pirates costume or Alice in Wonderland okay at times of course scary costumes too but with the years people have also started wearing like the Batman or the Spider-Man costumes okay so once they're all dressed up they go door to door screaming trick or treat, trick or treat. They have this big bag in their hands and basically they are collecting candies from all the houses. Okay, so what they scream, why do they scream trick or treat? They say that it's ba which basically means that you give us candies or we will play tricks like the ghosts do. Okay, all right, so that's how children enjoy the Halloween festival. Then we have a costume party. Now adults, instead of, of course, um, going door to door, they don't do that. What they do is uh, they also dress up in these scary costumes, okay, or fancy costumes, and they go attend some spooky parties, like scary parties, uh, which are really dark and people are all dressed up in scary stuff. Scary music is being played and um, it's just basically really spooky okay so these parties are in almost all the towns okay so that's what a costume party is and what they do is they they celebrate this on the night of october 31st and of course bobbing for apples bobbing for apples is a traditional game It's a traditional Halloween game, okay? Um, almost all the families do this every year. Uh, they put apples in a barrel uh, of water, okay? And then they pick up those floating apples with their mouths. It's super fun, trust me. Of course, while I'm explaining this, it doesn't sound to be fun. But yes, trust me, all the apples are floating and all these family members together, they come up and they start picking up the apples with their mouth. And basically, that's how they enjoy this festival. So these are the activities of Halloween. And since October 31st is pretty close, so get set for the festival and let me know how you enjoyed it and hope this lesson is helpful for you all. I'll see you in the next lesson soon. You take care and have a great day.